Sorry it's so dark, everybody. Fidelity Tattoo Company. Emma's gonna walk you guys through everything. Here we go. This is the front of the studio. You can see signage on the doors. Our bench is outside. Come on in. This is our lobby area. It's more the employee lounge as well. We don't have a full employee lounge. You can see the ceilings are nine feet high and the floors are non-porous. We've got jewelry cases in this area. And our main jewelry case over here. They're made of glass and metal to be wiped down regularly throughout the day. We can walk over here behind the counter and our signage as well. And if we come here behind the counter, you'll see we just have drawers full of tattoo paperwork. We've got our computer, our printer. Under here, it's a titanium jewelry case. We've just got some storage. Under here, this is our gold jewelry case. We've got more storage. We've got our infection control plans our MSDS, copy paper, random stuff, but as well as our Optum, our cups and our bags for to avoid cross-contamination, our pricing, our overstock of gold jewelry, and some gloves. Over under here, we've just got some storage, cleaning supplies, tape, everyday stuff. Then under here, we've got needle overstock. This just stays here before it is sterilized and packaged. And this is just a counter over here, register stand. We've got petty cash in here, just random stuff that every day we use. And then we've got administrative stuff, office supplies, gift cards, business cards, gift cards, neo metal instructions. And under here, we've got a copy of our piercing aftercare, which goes to every client after a piercing. And some cleaning supplies under there. And up over here, we've got our piercing aftercare. That's really the only thing in this cabinet that applies to piercing, but we've just got some office supplies under here as well. Our first aid kit. And Dan's gonna give you a 360 pan of the lobby from the counter. And just briefly, We've got some storage under here for displays and photography, storage for merchandise. This is storage for paperwork, just extra copies of IDs and whatnot. And under here are our jewelry invoices. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to go back to piercing room number two. That's also where our dirty room is. You can see the floors are non-porous all the way around the studio. The walls are eight feet high and the ceilings are nine feet high come in our piercing room. We've got signage right here, not to insert, remove, or change your jewelry. And then we've got our HEPA filter by the door. Signing to avoid cross-contamination, our sharps container, tray for dirty tools, and then our trash can, which is clearly labeled do not touch. And here we've got non-sterile items for piercing, such as needle blanks, pre-sterilized labrettes, iodine, alcohol, taper pens, loop. Here we've got sterile gloves, CSR wrap, cotton swabs, non-sterile gauze, and sterilized tools that are all marked. Gloves and Optum. Here's the stuff that is ready to go into the dirty room. Buffon caps for shoes, apron, face shield, and sleeves. Our hand washing station, which has both hot and cold water and a non-touch sink, single-handed paper towels. We can go in our dirty room, which is clearly labeled employees only, after Dan gives you a 360 pan. side of the buyer room. We've got overstock of our PPE, trash bags, sterile bags, all of the overstock for piercing materials such as gauze and our sterile gloves overstock and our regular gloves overstock. And then Dan's going to come in here and show you our statum. We're going to add another statum up top shortly, making it three statums for the studio. Under here is the drainage for our statum as well as overstock for enzymatic materials. 
As you can see, we have clear labeling that designates clean and dirty area. And we've got our trash can marked gloved hands only. Got gloves up here. And then over in this corner is our sink. Marked gloved hands only. It's a non-porous plastic sink. We've got a heated ultrasonic over there with a bouffant cap on top. And we've got enzymes, cups, and up there is our drying rack with sterile bags. And I have the filter underneath. Now we can head on out. We're going to go to our bathroom. We've got a hands-free door. So you can just kick it open with no hands at all. So over this way is our restroom, which is clearly labeled. We've got signage. We've got hot and cold water, single-use paper towels, hands-free stuff. Tile flooring that's non-porous and ceilings that go nine feet high all the way to the nine foot ceiling. I'm sorry, walls that go nine feet high all the way to the ceiling. And we're going to go to piercing room number one, which is right over here. We've got more signage here to prevent cross-contamination as well as signage not to change your jewelry. Got our sharps container, our enzymatic solution, trash can clearly marked, hot and cold water with our soap, which is hands free as well. We've got a tray for use tools before they are processed. And over here we have drawers for needles. They're all clearly marked with a gauge. They are bevel or O needle. We've got needle blanks. So all these are our needle blanks. Tons of them. And then we've got hair pans, rubber bands, hair ties, ink caps, and toothpicks. Just in case we mark with gentian, normally we use single-use markers, glass receiving tubes, metal receiving tubes. More needle blanks, taper pins, needle blanks, more taper pins, hemostats for bending taper pins or needle blanks, uh, Q-tips, integrators for the statum. Sterile calipers. And then we've got our statum here. Drainage is under the sink. And we've got our steamer. All of this is only used for clean jewelry. And then we've got drawers under here. Pre-sterilized gauze and Q-tips. Accoutrement, markers, pens, headlamps, scissors. And then we've got some sterile bags under here as sterile well. Sterile bags, bibs for genital piercings, some distilled water. There's the another HEPA filter here. under a HEPA here. Filter. And then just some more larger sterile bags, some jewelry bags, some mouthwash and cups for oral piercings. And give you a look at our gyno table. This is overstock down here. And then we've got set up iodine, alcohol, markers, lube, CSR, pot, snap tiles, different things. Gauze, sterile gloves, lap cloths. Process tools that have all been pre sterilized and labeled. And Dan's going to give you a 360 pound. Over here is our jewelry stock. We have a bunch of pre-sterilized um, needle blanks, taper pins, librettes, rings. Anything we might need just in case of emergency. This is more jewelry. Storage for threadless posts, threaded posts, beads, septum retainers. All that you might need. These are overstock for titanium gems. Threaded, threadless, they're all marked. 
then down here, barbells, surface anchors, surface bars. And back here, we've got some storage drawers behind the jewelry case. And Dan, do you want to give them another 360 down the lobby? Here's a 360 to the lobby. You can see our bathroom. You can see the piercing area. You can see that one wall is nine foot, one wall is eight foot. Our landlord's weird. Welcome to Fidelity Tattoo Company. Thanks.